do it, and I was like, oh, that was a lot. <laughs> so it's gonna go flat again. Yeah. <sighs> Hey everybody, thanks for clicking your way back to the good old Southern IA here. It's actually been the end of the day and I went and actually looked at the footage and unfortunately uh, we had a little bit of an issue that I accidentally had the GoPro set on time lapse for a good part of my videos. But anyways, today kind of didn't turn out the way that we were thinking it should. Uh, we were going to plan on moving equipment out of the shed today and it dried up a little bit and we'll get to that here in a little bit. Lately, I've been enjoying giving away a sticker for my favorite comment from videos posted. And in this video, I actually have to give away two comp two stickers, sorry, for two different comments. The first one comes from the Ben and Wayne video. That isn't bad. Uh, this one actually goes to Bill Widom. And he says, men like Wayne make us all want to be better men. Is there a higher praise? And that's very true, is that Wayne is a guy that I hold myself accountable to and try and do really well. So that's a great sticker or a great comment. We'll get you a sticker and send me an email. So I'll throw in a few clips here as I talk about how the day kind of went, but what are you doing? Anyways, so we went, dad and I went over to the cold storage shed. The plan was for the day, which does change, is that we were going to take all the equipment out of the cold storage shed and try and get to the bean planter and then also a few other things and rearrange the shed. Well, when we were getting ready to do that, we actually had found out that the Landol vertical tillage tool had a flat tire and we had to wrestle it off. <laughs> After getting the tire wrestled off and heading into town, I had a little bit of an issue with my lunch, as in my lunch disappeared, and there was only other one person with me, so <laughs> I think he got to eat my cheesy tots from the Casey's, uh, yeah, so he's probably not going to eat any dinner. Dad decided when I was out getting the tire changed that we were just going to completely change the way that the day was going to go, and that's where we can actually pick up with this video. So we've got a pretty drastic change in the direction of the day here. Um, after putting that tire back on, Dad decided that it's just dry enough that he we're going to do a little bit of dirt work. And I'm not talking about like going and doing tillage and stuff. He's going to have me hop into this excavator here and go work on a couple of terraces and try and get these terraces back in order. Uh, on this farm, I think there's three terraces that need fixed up. However, it is now past noon, so I need to pick out another sticker to send to somebody from the shop pit video. This one I'm going to send out there to Mr. Jeff. Um, he's also got a YouTube channel if you guys haven't checked him out yet before. But he says, That would be really nice for servicing trucks and tractors, but I really enjoy crawling around on the rocks and dirt so much, it wouldn't be near as much fun anymore. Uh, I got a kick out of that because I know exactly what he's talking about. The great joys of, uh, yeah, being in the rocks. So, Jeff, I'll get you a sticker sent out there. I'm pretty sure I can find where to send it. So, thanks for always viewing our videos here. And then don't forget, I'm doing the same thing for this video. My favorite comment within the first 24 hours, I'll send you a sticker. But if you are dying for a sticker or even a hat, they are for sale on the website. The link's in the description below. What do you guys say we go hog some mud? Here's the first one that I'm going to be working on. As you can tell, last year uh, we apparently decided that we were going to try out a new terrace design called the gaping hole. So uh, it didn't really work. It, it somehow let the water get through. So we're just going to go back to the regular design terrace where you actually stop the water. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of the water is dirt has ended up down here, so I've got to find enough dirt to build this all back up. This one's going to take a little bit of time, but one bucket at a time, we'll get it done.
is done. Uh, I fixed the hole in here. For you that do not know what these are for, I have had a couple of questions on it and I'll probably do a more in-depth video. This here is to stop surface water that comes ripping down hills. You can tell how it's kind of cut away dirt there. Well, that carries the dirt down the hill. And as the water comes down the hill, you can tell here, look at how high the water got at one point in time. It's got debris all the way up here. The water then can land into, or drain down these risers right here, which are called hiccup bottoms. And then where that orange flag is there, the water then gets deposited into this pond. So that's the reason we build these terraces is to slow down the water that is creating erosion. In terms of like fixing holes and terraces like this, this doesn't really happen that often. Last year was just so unbelievably wet and these terraces are relatively new. The grass hasn't really established in them and grown a lot of roots down deep to hold it in place. Typically, uh, what you're gonna see next is what has really been the problems is where they silt in. You guys will see that when we get to the next terrace. Relatively, not very often, do holes actually show up in terraces. It's just when you get so much water, it over overwhelms the intake because these were not engineered to the terraces. These were basically, uh, we dug it in and hopefully it worked type of deal. So they weren't government funded or anything like that. And these obviously failed. So we fixed them, beef them up a little bit more and uh, they'll, they'll hold water again. So let's hop back in and I'll move over here and kind of show you what I mean by silting in. Whoops, I was dragging my blade. So this is what I'm talking about when I talk about erosion. You can see this little swale coming down through the dirt here. That's where the water runs down. And when the water runs down, it brings dirt. And here's, uh, you can see how the terrace actually kind of worked, as in it caught a lot of the dirt. You can tell how mushy this is. This is all topsoil that's come down from the top of the hill and deposited itself right down here. We call this silting in a terrace. Uh, how I fix this, which you guys will see, we'll set you up on a time lapse as I do this. I'll come in here and I'll dig out all this dirt and I'll usually, in this situation, I'm actually gonna put it up on top of the terrace to build up the terrace a little bit. I'm gonna fix it back up. You can definitely tell that the water did end up going over this terrace. There's the drain for this one. I'll straighten this bad boy back out, beef it up in a few spots, like right here, you can tell it's low right there and then make sure we got good slope headed towards the actual inlet there. Clean this up, clean up the silt in. Typically this happens over time. It was just accelerated last year. Uh, slowly but surely your inlets will start to silt in. And you can tell as they silt in because the amount of orange on the riser starts to show less and less and less and less. And the only way to fix it is to remove the dirt. So what do you guys say we throw you on the tripod? I'll give you a little time lapse of uh, fixing up this terrace. still uh, it's now up to my hip so it's like four foot when it was about two foot so now that I have that there that gives me kind of my low spot where I can now slope it up the hill on both sides so that the water will drain and now I'll just start taking the dirt here moving it around fixing this thing up back to the timelines <laughs>
Oh, don't loop on me. There we go, there it is. You can obviously tell there's a lot more orange pipe sticking up out of the ground. We went from two feet to about four feet worth of pipe sticking up out of the ground. We've got slope coming down from both sides so the water will run down here, be able to enter the hickam bottom, which is the orange riser, head down to the pipe that's another four foot underneath the ground, and then finally terminate down there in the ditch. That's gonna control the water here. As you can tell up above me, that's a straight terrace, which is what we kind of like to build. We build our terraces, if we can, on planter widths. For example, we have a 24 row, 30 inch planter, which is a 60 foot pass. So usually 60 feet makes it a little bit tight and you don't need them that close together as in the terraces. So a lot of the times our terraces are spaced at 120 feet apart or possibly even a little bit further if the, the slope is pretty gentle and the water is not gonna get a lot of velocity. But this terrace right here is just a little bit different. As you can tell, it has a curve into it and well, the other one did too. That's because this is on the edge of the field, but also some people do build their terraces with the contours, which means uh, building the terrace with the lay of the land and kind of using the side of the hill as part of the terrace. Those can, they work, they're great. Uh, they make things a little bit more complicated, but that's the way this one is. So I really had to work with that curve there. Came out pretty darn good. That should hold water, should drain water and not let erosion happen. What do you guys say we head on down to the Big Mac Daddy hole? Right here is uh, obviously the main issue. And to show you guys, uh, that's, I, I'm like six foot two or so. And it's up to there. The total size of this terrace, let's see if I can crawl over it. I'm just getting stabbed. Um, is about, I'd say it's probably at least a six foot or seven foot tall terrace. And to show how much water we ended up having here at one point in time. And this sucker's a massive terrace. I mean, it goes all the way up there, all the way up there. I mean, this might be one of the bigger terraces that we have. And it blew a hole that far away from the inlet. So, what's that mean? Fix the time. forced to uh, give me a haircut. I don't know what I'm doing. Here, here goes nothing. We're going in. Oh my ear! <laughs> I don't know. We better wear hats. Otherwise, people might start mistaking us here. I got the Scott Van Roeckel deal going on. And I got a few bald spots going on. Like, because we only had one. So we went to, I went to show her how to like, kind of do the edge. And I, and I went to do it. And I was like, oh, that was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, yeah. we'll just, we'll just, quit. Yeah, right. <laughs> quite, quite the same. <laughs>